Hello, Merli. Can you start? ओके एवं वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू इट्स गिव्स मी प्लेशर टू बी हियर ऑन आई webinar on online learning need of an hour it was a webinar organized by alagappa university college of education on behalf of alagappa university college of education our faculty members are organizing a series of webinars which is a need of an hour and this is a uh, remarkable event on that webinar series so in this context i feel much privileged to welcome today's speaker jalaja kumari madam uh, who is with us uh, serving as an uh, as a professor in uh, igno she is going to talk on online learning need of an hour so as we all know during this covid 19 pandemic situation we are all in lockdown position and we are not uh, able to move within the society and all the educational institutions are locked down so in this uh, context it is a must that we should have a academic exchange between the students and the faculties so that our minds will be always open and it will not get blocked so in this context an online is a google meet through online program or through any other platforms it will be a boon for the academicians as well as to the students to exchange their academic thoughts and ideas so i am so happy that alagappa university college of education faculty members are extending their online transaction through google meet and zoom in all their webinar series so in future also we are going to organize so many programs with in in line with this so at the outset i feel very happy to welcome today's speaker madam dr jalaja kumari madam uh, for being with us for accepting the invitation and going to talk about on online learning and uh, i'm so happy uh, to welcome uh, our faculty members alagappa university college of education uh, faculties and uh, faculty from department of education alagappa university and department of special education alagappa university and from various other institutions who have joined with us for this effective program on online transaction so in this regard i extend my heartfelt thanks to my colleague Merlin Sasikala for organizing this wonderful session on online learning. So, I welcome her to introduce the speaker and start this webinar series. Thank you. Greetings to all. It's a great pleasure for me to introduce today's speaker, Dr. V. T. Jalajagumari, Assistant Regional Director, Idhanti National Open University, Cochin. Ernakulam having 23 years of experience in the field of education she is a very renowned educationist in kerala published n number of research articles in the reputed journals and magazines she is an active member in many literary and cultural organizations all over india she is also an active social worker and delivered more number of more than 100 lectures in social and academic groups She is one of the director of Vaikya Mahamadhi Samshari Gasti. She has designed and developed more number of e-content modules for online MOOCs under MHR Government of India. 
she is one of the onboarding faculty national portal of mhrd so she is the apt and right person to tell us about online learning thank you so much for joining with us with this few regards i hand over this session to dr jalaja kumari please ma'am thank you very much shashi darling shashi gala ma'am this is first time i am calling her this uh, in in the official way because uh, for years she was my colleague in my earlier college and also i uh, uh, i tell my heartfelt thanks to our principal madam for uh, welcoming me and once again i thank merlin uh, now i think uh, 11 7 i have a number of uh, slides with me so i think without much in uh, introduction i can interact with you it is better i think so if i am specifically telling i am not a person from it field or i don't have any it background but i have some practical it background because that is the need of the hour ever not only the present hour ever it was needed and now it is uh, highly needed and uh, without that we cannot live we cannot survive like that the situations are come before us so i think at any situation we people have the capacity and the attitude to overcome everything by adopting suitable methods and measures especially teachers so i am very happy to uh, tell you that alagappa university is um, uh, arranging convening a series of webinars and uh, other online uh, uh, programs for enriching the learners of this university and let me start my uh, topic you know madam was also telling that it is the need of the hour so online education need of the hour is the topic so let us uh, remember one minute our uh, the, the honorable the ever memorable um, dr apj abdul kalam the biggest educationist in the world we can say like that he is our guru and uh, i remember first his name and his fame uh, for being a veteran technologist in this world he was a scientist teacher and everything and he was telling us about very good words of inspiration and let me i think it is better to present start the presentation we can directly go through our uh, Uh, slides and topic. Uh, can you see it? Is it audible? Uh, say, visible now? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yeah, yes. 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 I can proceed. Thank you. So our topic is this one. Just see the slide. How we were overcoming. Uh, this world and the COVID nineteen pandemic, uh, which was uh, uh, as a spread all over the world. So every like an eagle, let us also how to overcome the things. You know what is online learning? Everybody knows what is online learning. There is no need to say any definition or any introduction regarding online learning platform and online learning, because if we are transacting. any communication or any educational uh, matters using an internet provision or with the help of an internet we can say it as online learning or an online communication so these online communication when we are using online communication devices in the field of education we can say it is online learning so online learning and online learning platforms are little bit different in the online process Uh, if we are using some single, single devices using internet if i am giving you one email that is using it's a single device yes ppt is not yes. ppt is not yes okay 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 let me check let me check Just a minute. Just a minute. I am sharing it. Is it now? 
Now is it visible? It's coming, no? Yes, yes, madam. Yes. Yes. Now it is visible. Shall, shall I proceed? Okay, madam. Okay. Okay. So, um, uh, once again, I'll tell you that the online learning tools, online learning devices, online learning platform, all the platform, platform, online learning tools, you know, Google Meet. Google Meet is a platform also. I have a request, others may please mute your audio because uh, uh, many, many voices are coming. Okay, okay, now it's okay. So, so we may have online devices, tools, and devices. PPT is not visible. Again, PPT is not visible. So, when we are integrating the devices in uh, more than that of one or two, and we are integrating the devices for transacting and online learning, we can call it a platform. Our Google Meet is also a platform because we are using many devices here. Audio device is there, video device is there, charging mode is there. But if it is not visible. If it is not visible. Yeah, it is staring now. Oh. Yeah, I have, I have shared it. If it is not visible, okay. if it is visible, I'll Share it. Yeah, yeah. It is sharing now. It is showing us sharing. No. Yeah, I, 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 what it is happening, I don't know. Actually, I had uh, to stop it. Let me stop one second and again share. Stop presentation. Okay. I did stop presentation. Now again, I can share it. Okay. Is it uh, seen now? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, also. No. So, what is happening? You press the present button. Yes, yes, yes. And, I did. Then, oh. and then share. Doing it. If we are doing it, and I have done it. Screen is shared. Screen is shared. It is shown like that. Hello? Hello? It is showing that window. But participants are not. Is it, is it visible now? No, no, ma'am. I yes, yeah, just, just, just now, just now. Yes, madam, yes. Okay, okay. It's visible now. Yeah. No problem, you were hearing me and uh, I was telling about the integration of many devices and many tools into a common platform. We can say it is a, an online learning platform. All these things you know. And, uh, you, you may have to. Madam was telling in the introductory speech uh, that uh, yes, uh, biggest uh, soy portal all at all. So we may start there actually because India is having a biggest, one of the biggest platforms in the world. Digital learning platform is that, that is so Swayam. I like that we have Swayam Prabha, then NDL is there, that is a digital repository of resources. Then for higher education and teachers and uh, other students, we okay. have EPG Part Please, five. Five. Hello. We enlarge the screen. Hello. K kindly, kindly mute your uh, others phone, please. Many, many distractions comes. Okay. So we have e Parchala, so I'm Prabha. Okay. Ma Madam? So I'm 
am portal and NDL. So I am general insulin. Yes. Yes. Hello. Madam, please, madam, please press F5 for enlarging the screen. Oh, okay, okay, that will be. Oh, yeah, that, thank you, thank you. And I will slide show I will do. That is better, I think. Now you can see in a big form, no? Is it? Thank you, thank you. Okay, now? Okay, okay, okay. So, all these uh, portals, so I am Prabha. So, I am MOOC, NDN, and EPA all over the world. The biggest online learning uh, platform of India is uh, Soyam, and through MOOCs, the courses we are not massive open online courses, everybody knows. MOOCs are the uh, courses going through this Swayam portal and we have uh, uh, many co national coordinators for that. I will tell you all these matters uh, in, because we have to discuss with uh, many, many online platforms and tools here. So, you, we, just we have to go through some of the titles. This is uh, very well clear and known to all the people everywhere. Now, we are also going through this Google Meet and Google Meet of uh, 150, you know. Uh, the persons who are under the Google suit can conduct, like you, can conduct a meeting of 250 and others only through, if people are having Gmail accounts, they can have 100 that you know, Google Hangover is there. And uh, very famous, very widely, worldwide used one, uh, another online platform is CISO WebEx, then Zoom here, you know the uh, students' capacity and all of uh, uh, Zoom, then Slack 15, it is only available on desktop, then big blue button, just for name I am telling this and uh, elaborately we will come to. So big blue button, uh, Moodle, that is a Moodle platform, Moodle plugin and uh, GNU Linux uh, 50 is uh, that the student's capacity is, this will be open to the GNU Linux and the student's capacity is 50 at a time and Skype you know that also 50 and uh, thereby Four, like that one is there, FaceTime. This is available only in Apple devices, then Signal and WhatsApp. All these are too much, very much familiar to all over this world, especially nowadays among the students, among the learners. Even in Kerala, you know, in on the 1st of June itself, the government has started online learning in school level also, at school level also. So like that things are going on. So, the easiest things I will tell first, then we will elaborately we will come to other points. You know, the Facebook live sessions, everywhere it is available and the best thing is that even one student is able to start a Facebook live session as a peer learning system. So, teachers, in, especially in teacher educators, teacher education sector, all are teachers, student, student teachers and um, uh, teacher educators. These are the uh, two terminologies we are usually using. So everybody is too much familiar with the online devices and uh, all are able to start one uh, Facebook live session simply using their uh, Facebook account and uh, live session provision is there only by putting, on, putting your finger on that because it only by pressing you can start the live session through video sessions and uh, chat mode you can interact but no other face-to-face -face or no other one-to-one -one interaction is uh, is not possible in voice mode but in uh, chatting we can clear the routes of the students and we can do whatever is given on the spot and the messages has to be interacted to the students that is the only thing and uh, these things I think is, there is no need because uh, you know everything you are practicing every day so I am not uh, saying much on these points Google Meet also like that now we are on the Google Meet. There is no need to tell uh, many things. I think if you want to have, you can ask. So uh, every steps I have given. If you want to share the slides, I will give you these things. I think simply uh, by going through these points, you can understand what are the steps for. And uh, also in uh, YouTube, 
we are getting all the tutorials regarding use of use and opening and installing of all the uh, google uh, applications not only google applications all other um, live interactive modes we have told earlier and everything is given in uh, tutorials in youtube and anybody can just uh, observe it and they can learn it how to utilize all these devices so some important matters we have to tell about i think this may be one of the uh, important point i have to interact with you because google classroom is a little bit different from uh, google meet you know and uh, two terminologies i have to tell you synchronized and uh, asynchronized modes that also i will tell now you hear this is uh, google classroom is uh, an asynchronized what is synchronized and asynchronized synchronized means when the teacher is interacting at the same time students are also going along with them and they have that type of one time interaction each other if the platform is possible for that we can say that is a synchronized mode of online learning if it is not possible we can say as we can say is asynchronized and it is not negative or uh, negative of it is not the opposite of synchronized because if the platform platform is not synchronized we can make it synchronized that is what asynchronized a means if we are adding a if, that means we can make it you know that english uh, usage of uh, that terminology so asynchronized means not synchronized uh, you don't think like that but it is we can make the synchronized the, the synchronized into synchronized that is what means one to one correction one contact with the students and teachers at the same time like what we are doing now that means our google meet is a synchronized platform so google classroom is uh, generally google classroom is told us uh, is called us asynchronized because google classroom is we are making a classroom already we are uh, earlier we are setting up the classroom and we are giving the options to interact with the students through uh, this uh, device already set up and uh, uh, there is teacher and student is not seeing face to face but in the latest provisions there are provisions to attach with google meet also in the classroom in the google classroom there is provision to interact the students using google uh, uh, meet buttons then we have to say that is this can be synchronized that is what i was telling you know how, what is the google classroom google classroom is a, is the app you can download from the google apps Uh, anybody can download the google apps uh, google classroom you can install it and you can open it and when you open it you will see i think it is better to show you how it is uh, then immediately uh, this you know this is also an app you can uh, hear it this is also an app here um google drive is there why i am taking this google drive i have framed one uh, uh, classroom here for yesterday i just simply did uh, some uh, introductory part of this drive there my drive is there in my drive i have three classrooms yes here this classroom yesterday is simply made for you this is known as b ed second year optional class you can see it now hello can you see here uh, here and uh, you can see the, the screen also no yes, yes. no madam this is a google no madam no. yes yes ma yes ma it's visible visible uh, visible is fine okay 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 so in my drive um see see uh, this is the classroom link ma'am make it as a full screen ma'am f5 you press f5 yes, i mean it's coming, coming no no it is coming it is there now it is full screen no yes so 
when you are going to this classroom here one plus uh, button is there here you can click then two terminologies are given there join class and create class you click on create class then a new classroom will be coming and they are asking class name if you, uh, you can uh, put the name of your class i am simply giving something uh, because otherwise it won't go ahead that's why i don't know if this is not the name you can give b ed uh, m ed or whatever it is you can give the class name section name also you can if it is first year or second year whatever it is your section or the class division what is there you can give it like that. and uh, subject also you can give room also you can, you can give something is it the create button when you press it will come so my tissue is there that's why it's very slow so it is create it is showing us creating so one class will be created so see left side one class is has this one simply i i was putting some nonsense syllables simply for showing you so this classroom came here um, here we can generate meet link that is what that's what i was telling that uh, even if it is an asynchronized classroom um, uh, device we can make it synchronized by using these link also so in the advanced forms you can generate a meet link here nothing is needed for uh, making a this and the calendar will be appeared now then you generate a link and you can share this uh, meet link if i am simply clicking on that uh, one uh, now stpp meet.google.com has come so you can copy it and you can send to your students if you are making it to visible to student immediately this link will be visible to students so without any other uh, uh, any other sharing mode you can share the thing by clicking on the visible to students button then students can see the meet uh, button a uh, meet uh, link and they can enter to the google, google meet you have already made through google classroom like that you can save it you can copy it that provisions are also there then i simply uh, to exit i am making it as saving then you came back uh, came back to this one you can share something you something with your class see class name is there all students or uh, some of the students whatever is there you can uh, put that click if you are, if you don't want to give uh, to communicate with all students that option you can give here you can share the class by typing something here this is like almost like a discussion forum like so that you can see and uh, you can add here when you click on this you can add google drive you can add because your google drive you uh, some uh, files might have been saved for us yours and you can share it otherwise you can share through link if some internet link is there you can share that uh, through this link if you are giving some files to Uh, share with the students you can attach the files you can click on that then it will show the destination and from there you can select it uh, from where you drag to uh, you want to drag the files here you can drag it from any place and you can upload it and it will be visible for the students like that uh, youtube also if you have some videos and all in the youtube already done if you have done some videos of your class in the youtube you can click on that and you can add that youtube to a uh, youtube link to your uh, classroom so whatever you want to upload in the classroom for sharing uh, with your students you can do that using these things like that you can post after doing something this post button will be visible then you click on that then post will be done like that you can share this classroom also so here all the facilities are there in the classroom you can continue always this classroom will be there you can click on your uh, classroom uh, link and you can uh, come at any time student student can also visit this one post there is a code of first when you are uh, preparing excuse me ma'am yes a ppt card in illa ppt ppt anikave illa appa ഐക്കോൺ ദർ വിൽ ബി പ്രസന്റിംഗ് ഐക്കോൺ യു പിൻ ദാറ്റ് സി 
participants you have to pin that icon because if somebody press the present button okay. her presentation will be gone okay so uh, that's why we are asking not to pr press the present button so just to search in your uh, pa participants list and there will be two icon so one is her presentation you just pin it okay ड्राइव Uh, what is the problem? If you are going to uh, conduct a test or a quiz, you please uh, click on the Google Drive, and in the Google Drive there will be Google uh, Forms, or uh, I'll show you. See, these all Google Apps will come. So, using these Google Apps. Uh, going to uh, i have many google forms here this is a blank form i am making i will just show you see this is an untitled form you can give uh, a title for uh, the quiz quiz for uh, or an uh, uh, examination achievement test you are going to conduct you can title the question paper title and everything here as description then questions you can give like like this if you want to add some more thing plus here see you can uh, press on Plus button, then uh, more questions will come. You put the question immediately. It will ask which type of question. If you want to have multiple choice MCQs, you can click on this one. Otherwise, select, uh, select from the drop down menu which type you want to have multiple choice check box, drop down file, um, paragraph, short answer. Many things are there. So you can select it. You can add the question like that. And by clicking on the plus add button. you can ask many many questions you can add so everything will come finally you can send this question paper you can send to your uh, learners by sharing it through email so when you say put send immediately there will be a provision for showing the email you type the email of the learners there and you send it this is the provision for doing this one so in the google classroom itself you can use google form for making uh, questions examinations and everything so this is a platform for all of you and i am coming back so teachers can make uh, google classroom more effective and more live using google drive google apps not only drive google apps many apps are there spreadsheet is also there you can even prepare your uh, um, attendance of the students and everything you can uh, do it from uh, your home itself and that is the i think this is a very nice thing because uh, every time you can add it and the thing is that what all things you are adding will be recorded and it will be saved in your drive in the google classroom so at what time students want to enter it once only we are giving the code so using that code at any time students can visit this classroom and they can learn it that is the Uh, best thing means at any time, anywhere, anyone. These all provisions are, are available in this Google Classroom. That is why I was specifically giving you, giving you um, a demonstration like uh, uh, interaction among this one. And now all these things are regarding Google Classroom screenshots only. I think once I have shown you everything, there is no need of these uh, screens. So how another thing? The second thing I am going to tell you how. that is how hundreds of thousands of free um free softwares are available in the google so if you go to uh, google you can download many many free apps downloading free apps will also be a problem in the uh, cyber uh, way uh, that i will tell you later whatever it may be everything has some legal issues that also we have uh, finally i will tell as a whole for everything that is better i think so many many 
uh, content creation tools are there. So for teachers and for uh, students also, it is uh, very much important to make contents. So I, uh, just one I will tell you as example, this uh, screen classify, free cam, loom, webex, jitsi, uh, meet, everything is for making contents. And uh, this uh, uh, free cam, if I am uh, doing this free screen recording.com, free screen recording.com, you can download it and you can do in your uh, for, uh, computer desktop. I have that already. So I will, in whatever things further I am doing, I am using screen um, recorder also. Then uh, my class will also be recorded. At the same time, I can demonstrate what is going on there. So that uh, uh, that app is there, that software is there in my computer. I have downloaded that app and uh, uh, I am going to share that. Now, uh, this uh, our meet screen is there. That also I am going to do like this. Now you can see my uh, desktop, isn't it? Hello? You can see my desktop? Yeah. Yes. There I have one free camp uh, software I have already downloaded. It is there. So you download the free camp, then create and recent recordings. If I am opening this, my earlier recordings will be visible. Now I am creating a new screen. So I'll uh, click on that. It is very, our BSNL net is very slow, I think. If I go to another net, something will happen because I have to rejoin the thing. So I don't want to waste my time. So I, I clicked on this. Now the screen will be, uh, it, it is uh, working. Okay, now you can see that the screen by dragging this line, you can make the screen a little bit bigger if you want to. Otherwise, the size of the screen you can uh, do by this one. And now you can see my desktop screen. Now, whatever things I am telling you and what all things I am transacting with you will be on this screen now. It will be recorded. Voice also there, so two buttons are there. So. When I put start here in the red button in the left down corner, it will start to press. Uh, it is started. It has started to record. Voice is also already open. So my voice and the things I am doing using this screen further will be recorded. And when we want to stop it, we can uh, put the escape button. Then the process will be stopped. Then. Uh, there a button is there for saving it. We can save it. And it will be uh, in which uh, place, in which folder you want to save it, it will ask as usual. You can save in your, what is convenient for you. There you can save it. And you can share this. And this one you can put in the Google Drive and you can share the thing to the students. That also can be. So content creation, whatever content you want to do. So this uh, using this screen, you can create... Uh, you can you can use your PowerPoint, you can make PowerPoint and you can show the student. Whatever things you make or you are creating or using this screen will be recorded and that recorded thing can be shared to your learners. So that is also another thing. So if you are making a new thing uh, on your computer, at the same time as a live session, it is not live, but we can make it as a live session by uh, recording it and uh, keeping aside for sharing with the students. So teachers can create videos. If you want to have audio only, then you off the video mode, then open the audio mode and say what all what, what things you want to say with your students. You say, you record it and share with them. Like that, video also you can do. If you want to do both, that also you can do. You can, if you want to create a PowerPoint, that you can do. So whatever things you want to do, you can do on the screen and you can share, uh, record it and keep it for, uh, for post purposes and share with the ladies. That is also possible. Now I am going to um, save it. Uh, so now escape button I am pressing. I pressed escape button. This is the screen. 
what we were doing it is here they are asking uh, save see text save as video save upload to youtube that also you can do so instantly you can prepare videos and you can upload to video without anybody's help and uh, one thing is there one edit is here no sometimes we have our mannerisms repetitions uh, like that many things will be there if you don't want to share all these things with your students you can uh, edit it using this edit button so this edit button can cut something and uh, many modification provisions are are there in editing so simply anybody can do it if an in computer you know it is an individual learning instruction material a device it will teach you to do many many things by using the edit provision you edit it then you uh, save it somewhere again and you share it with your students otherwise if you want to upload it in the youtube at the same moment you can export it to uh, youtube it will be visible there a link uh, will be appeared you can share it with the learners so now i am going to save it so saving provision uh, this is the software provision here for saving saving screen recording if you, if i want to give some name you can give another name simply i was giving the kvt i want to save it on desktop save it came it is exporting with a second it will come to um desktop then uh, this way you can do it so it let it be there uh, i'll come through come to our uh, slides so i think you got it so these two demonstration have done uh, so for an initial uh, preparation or uh, for the initiation of the online classes these two i think it is very much sufficient to start your classes and uh, uh, ordinary uh, classroom situation you can repeat through all these things that is better i think now uh, content creation also i told you synchronized and asynchronized i told all these things i have discussed so another important thing i didn't tell about moodle i was telling you about big blue button big blue button uh, is the because earlier i was uh, showing you this things Uh, there, big blue button was there. See, this was one is one. This is the one of the most important online learning tool. This is not a uh, big blue button itself is a platform. It is a tool only, but it it, it is we are using for online classes. Online classes means virtual classes, not online classes. It is online virtual classes. What is virtual classes? You know. So students may feel the real classroom situations. Why? Because it is having all the facilities for interaction with the students screen is camera is there uh, audio visions are there chat provisions are there uh, messaging provisions are there and white board is also there the teacher can whatever things you are write on the white board if you share that white board with the learners as we have we are doing now uh, in the screen share you can share the thing at the same time the students can also if a science teacher is doing a diagram teacher can draw it and teacher can tell the students to draw it if the students are drawing you can see all the students how they are drawing it if there is any error in the diagrammatic representation or that you can immediately tell them to correct it and you can guide them to it so whiteboard is the the biggest in the The beautiful provision in the big blue button, and I think big blue button is the uh, online virtual classroom provision incorporated in the Moodle platform of GNU Linux 15. That you got, I think. And specifically, I have to tell you one thing. One second, uh, slide show. I'll, I'll come back. So, all these things we have covered. uh this also i will tell you i was telling you about this is another uh, how you can make a Mo moodle platform moodle i was telling big blue button is one of the devices and provision for making uh, your moodle platform more meaningful and more beautiful by incorporating a virtual classroom so this dinomia is dinomio.com you know you just see the um link using this link you can create a moodle platform you try again 
uh, once you try like a google classroom when why how i was uh, demonstrating like that the, by clicking on this in the google genomeo uh, uh, dot com will be appear and there they will give guide you for everything but it is a private thing and uh, they always uh, provision always it is a um, advertisement provisions are coming you disable it and go ahead but Uh, as the part of their marketing again and again it will come and some other days also you don't mind you leave it and uh, make your own learning platform using this one and you can add but in genomeo i think that the learning devices are very less whatever it may be uh, like google classroom you can use it this also world widely used by the people now the thing i have to tell you you know the um, marketing of uh, our uh, geo sim and what they were doing at first at first i am not telling any politics or uh, uh, something but uh, marketing some technique i was telling that at first they were giving to the whole people of india in uh, uh, free isn't it but hearing free people will run after that that is the tendency of our society so what they trapped they first everybody finally they were telling they were changing their provisions and gradually it is a paid platform now like that all free downloadable platforms are first it is a, it is i think they are um, in the fishing tamil pare meen pidikadhukku eraya potta and maathiri business tha appo people will do like that if once we downloaded it the free things we will be enjoying and when they are changing their versions and that is why they are clearly giving this um oh that has a supply has got no problem can you see me no problem you hear me sunday it will come soon i think i expect no, like that yes madam no. nah, yeah no problem you hear because the screen is visible then you see it so they are telling the legal uh, all things uh, i would like to receive email notification everything is there and finally they were telling Uh, ask for the norms and like that they were telling it is if we, i am sc- uh, scrolling in the, this is screenshot only really. and uh, if we are agreeing with then only we can proceed that means when they are changing the terms and conditions of ciso webex so this is ciso webex ciso is doing that ciso's uh, terms when it is changed immediately we have to pay for that the problem is that at that moment we can leave it but the problem is that we were continuing our lessons and everything through this platform and once on a immediate uh, moment if the thing is going somewhere we will be troubled that is the problem so what you want to do you don't always go beyond the free things instead you do only you be a client of that people you join with them as a client so we will be an, a shareholder like we are not paying anything but the clients cannot be uh, uh, denied that's why so what legally so what they will do they will share all the facilities further and further and you will be free to add more and more buttons as well from uh, pointing somewhere from and uh, by the help of some software software add on the thing is that they will be benefited by that what all things you are adding they will be benefited that but that has to be because we are sharing their thing so our uh, contributions will also be shared by the that is the thing so don't worry about it otherwise we cannot do anything so main model model i have to tell you because i think uh, now these models free models are only created everywhere and moody is a that uh, very big platform and uh, one day that license their free version and everything will go uh, will go out so you be careful and you may try to get uh, the institution can do something personally sometimes we may not be able to pay that big money in dollars and all so institution can do uh, an amount and they can be a client in that and then it will continue and you can modify your mobile platform also as as you were yourself as all so that also there so these provisions are there in all models one students and administrators uh, administrators can join they can log in assignments can be submitted through this discussion forum will be there files uploaded and downloaded can be possible you can do the grading assessment everything you can do using that moodle platform instant messages can be delivered online calendar you can prepare and show it in the 
platform. Then online news and announcements, all you can do, like university websites, online quizzes you can prepare. I told you earlier. And Moody is having another one, not like a Google uh, uh, Classroom. It is different. This is having its own online quiz, um, more, but it's plugins, platforms. And it is separately made. Wiki and other forums can also be plugged in. Like self-assessment is possible. Peer assessment is also possible. Teacher assessment is also possible. So all these possibilities are there in Moodle. That is why people are. This one, I will tell you, this Moodle is, this is a Moodle one plugin. What I am telling, plug in. By the meaning itself, you can say that, you, you can understand that plug in. They are plugging in many things to, is the time now? Oh, seven minutes only I had to jump through the things. So, in 2015, we have prepared one um, Moodle platform in 2015. At that time, it was not uh, familiar to all people in the world. And a beautiful uh, Moodle platform we have prepared in the Regional Centre Coaching. The experiment, we four people are there in the team. And uh, we are known as the MOOC team. So, we are preparing MOOCs and all other things. Madeline Madam was telling it. For the purpose of uh, one wonderful study for a British born students of uh, our regional centre, we have made this Moodle platform and we used it. We, uh, uh, we were uh, teaching them and uh, we conducted examination also for them. And I presented this paper in several foreign countries. At that time, it was highly appreciated. See, one plugin. This is one platform, one software link. It was text-to-speech provision is there. So, the disabled ch children can... Uh, convert the text into speech and they can the same with the reverse order also. They can speak. Everything will come because they are not able to type. Thus, that type of one uh, plugin is there. This is uh, the whiteboard and the online virtual classroom of big blue button. Virtual classroom of big blue, big blue button. And uh, this is our regional director and we people are sitting there. We were transacting with the learners only using this whiteboard and all. And other provision, virtual lab is also possible. Virtual lab possibilities are also there in this. This is like in this avatar and all. This is a very high, very high and a very much advanced technology we can plug with, uh, plug in with model platform. Then this is um, uh, model text SMS. Simply we can, we, uh, this uh, um, blue part you see, text we can give. Students can uh, see at the same time live and uh, audio. This is assignment. Students can submit the assignment in the audio form and also video form, also video photo image. Like they can take the photo of the assignments and they can do video of assignments. They can also because if disabled children are there, they can say uh, put. They can upload a speech, a recorded audio as assignments. These provisions are also there. And uh, this is the introductory content, the digital quiz also we can prepare like this. Uh, quizzes, for, uh, um, summative, formative assessment techniques we can do. And uh, this is the content. Content we can share with this. This is the wonderful thing. Analytic graphs of assignment submission. As per the submission of the assignments, gradually this graph will change and analysis will also change. So this analytic system is there. And after uh, this, using this analytic system, we can give badges also to students. So all these plugins are available in the Moodle. That is the beauty of Moodle. That is why worldwide Moodles are, Moodles are used. But you have to remember the copyright issues and other things uh, and the precautions to be taken for down, before downloading the free Moodle software. Now, I have to specifically tell about MOOCs. Uh, in the, uh, running the Moodle platform. So, MOOCs of Swayam, they, are, uh, they have run uh, in the Moodle platform. Now, we have 755 courses available in the Swayam platform of MHRD. And it has four quadrants. You know, do you know what is quadrants? I think it is better to say four quadrants. One is video. All classes are given video classes. So, we teachers were taking all the videos of the content and uh, Second, uh, garden, first thing is uh, video. Second is the text. So, we, we are preparing a document as uh, our content. So, that content matter is the second one. Third is quizzes and other assessment provisions. Fourth one is discussion forum. 
So these are the main four quadrants essential for making MO platform. So these four, four quadrants are there for these uh, model platforms are model plugins are also there attached with incorporated with this MOOC model and uh, almost a thousand faculties are working uh, nationally under MHRD for this one uh, free of course the courses are that's the beauty of other thing everybody can join from 9th standard to PG up to uh, but that, uh, that is the platform actually for and the IITs and all are there giving their uh, uh, courses in that. Now in MOOCs, I think uh, uh, certificate level and diploma level courses only. Later it will, it will come and their objective is to develop MOOCs, for, MOOCs up to post-graduation level. Then the other be another beauty is that students can transfer their credits. Do you know credit what is? Credit system is there. So for uh, all our courses, we have credits. If a student is doing a credited course from Swayam, that credits will be added to their regular system courses. Because for that, what our government is now doing in central universities, doing a Swayam course is a compulsory part. It's a very, very much compulsory. Anybody, all students have to select one of the courses from this MOOC platform. Any as per their choice. After completion of that program, that course, that for which, uh, what is the credit of that course incorporated? That is another thing. If it is a two credit uh, program, that two credits will be added to the uh, regular mod courses and uh, that paper should not be handled by any of the student in the uh, college. Because equivalent to that paper, that credit, students are doing their own, that is choice based credit system. Students are able to select uh, choices of courses of needed credit and that will be added to their regular other papers other including to, uh, towards their semester courses that is what credit transfer system and more than that it's the happiest thing for uh, teachers that many courses are there in MOOC platform as refresher program so without going anywhere sometimes for us we are uh, family members we may have a lot of difficulties to go out from the home for uh, 14 days nowadays as per the revised mod 14 days you can sit from uh, you can sit at home and do the thing. At any time you can do it because more courses are available always. If you can finish all your household works, your college works, after that at night you open the Soyam MOOC www.soyam.in soyam.gov.in So soyam.gov.in Simply you type Soyam, then also that link will come and you can join for some courses and uh, you can do it at any time. Within the stipulated time, you have to finish it and you have to write the examination, you will get the credit and uh, that certificate will be valid for refresher program and it will be acceptable for your promotion and all. Like that orientation, like that FDP. These are the things I have to tell you because the biggest online learning platform is there before us uh, from the government of India itself. So we should be familiar with that. This one, I think uh, if you want to planning of lesson plan and all this is not needed because of all our uh, beard teachers and all you know this more is uh, the part of this movie then google apps i told you drive forms spreadsheets documents etc i just uh, i it has been shown so that also you if we are using all these online devices and online platform along with our regular face to face thing we can call it blended learning that you know so what all things we are making, if we are uploading in some of the uh, approved platforms or in uh, Google, then we are doing for developing the open educational resources, that is OER. So OER repository will also be enriched by adding all these things from our side. And anybody can use this OER uh, contents, OER thing, materials, study materials available in the Google and in other platforms many many oer platforms are also there our khan academy is famous mit massachusetts institute of technology uh, all these you know uh, coursera coursera is one of the biggest platform for oer all these are very much useful and very much uh, familiar to all people in nowadays and more than that of open education people like us you know regular college students and teachers can also depend on these oers they can, you can you reuse it, you can revise it, you can remix, re redistribute and retain. All these facilities are also there. It is five hours on OER. That also I was telling. And this is one site I 
I think you cannot see it. Um, sorry, I'll go to previous one. Um, so this is uh, uh, this is a big thing. I cannot see it. It is not visible. But instead of that, I, I have shown um, the slide. This is an ACD important link for students. By going through this link, many many links are given in the ACD website for downloading for your purposes for online learning. These are content materials and other some platforms. You go through that also for uh, being a better person in the field of online learning. And I think almost all things I have discussed, we have started a little bit later. That is why I think uh, uh, now time is going to be over and over, I think. So two minutes over. Uh, sorry for uh, I have done. I don't want to say much. Thank you all for giving me this opportunity and hearing me. Uh, if you have any doubt, I don't know what is the message and what is the platform arranged by the organizers. And uh, you can... Uh, uh, come. I am coming back uh, to this uh, platform. Uh, that's all. Once again, I thank all. If uh, my uh, mail ID will be shared, I think, if you have any doubt, that also you can do. I am over to the organizers of this meeting. Thank you very much, Mr. Thank Hello? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So much for your immense knowledge shared with this session. You have given a lot of information within a short span of time. It is the first and session. Participants, please admit and ask us me. If you have any doubt, you can ask. Participants, please ask your questions. P. Vijaya, stop presenting. You can ask questions. You can press your button, mic, unmute it, and you can talk. Level onwards, my own uh, one meeting is going on in the office. I have to join after 12. Yeah. Uh, we have given uh, madam's uh, email id in the chat box so all the uh, participants if you are interested you can uh, note it down and you can ask queries and questions if there is anything and or you can contact uh, madam and you can talk with her related to online learning i think she has a lot of information related to google form how to use google spreadsheet how to use uh, uh, different uh, question papers uh, preparation, how to develop a different uh, platforms which is very useful for online transaction. So in this regard, she has given a lot of explanation. I request uh, all the participants, if there is any question, you can ask. One or two question, please. Porsche, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Can ask yes, one or two questions. Yeah. If there is any question on the part of participants. Ma'am, uh, Suman Prasad was asking with the digital divide being what it is, how we expect the students to cope with the online learning. Uh, how Suman, Suman Prasad. Uh, he's asking. With the digital Hello. divide being, uh, with the uh, digital divide being, what it is, how can we expect the students to cope with the online learning? How can we cope with the online learning? Means to, how the students can cope with? So, what all things yes, we are doing? Yes, what all, what all things students teachers are doing and they are sharing everything to students only. So students also have to 
how of these old devices with them. All these facilities should be there with the students also. Then only they can interact with the teachers in the same through the same platform, isn't it? So I think some of the students were also there. Also, they can develop, they can uh, develop their devices through any platform. Nowadays, everybody is having Android mobile. So all these functions are available in Android mobile also. So if they are downloading these apps in their Android mobile, they can show everything to teachers and at the same time teachers. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. One more question from YouTube. Excuse me, ma'am. One more question from YouTube, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, you can ask. Uh, ma'am, I need, uh, I need a, uh, I need a clarification, ma'am. Uh, is there any obligation, ethical obligations, uh, are there uh, in handling the online, uh, online thing? And also, I want to clarify that uh, due to online uh, due to online classes, our our documents will be stolen or not. I want to know, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you. Ethical ethical ethics. You, you mean, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Ethics means scenario is changing. No, not all ethics are there. The ethics of the world is uh, different. So. According to talk with the situations coming before us, we have to be equipped with. That is what. For that, ethics is um, like in the classroom, we may have to follow all the professional ethics. We are just changing our platform. For the other uh, values of other things and all, we are fully utilizing all these ethics. Means, means what? The the one philosophy is there, not only not philosophy, no technology can substitute a learner, a teacher. That is there. I agree with that. But for all and also, and also I heard about the, the ethical cracking. Is uh, 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 cracking things. Yeah. Yeah. Chances are there. But these applications, I think, the cracking is that if you are using uh, a, a, a platform made by other people, definitely that will be shared to them. And in your personal mail, that is why. If the mail is tracked, this will happen. That will be there. Everything is done through your email only, isn't it? Yes, So, if the mail is under your password and all, that rules you have to obey and keep. Then things will be okay. Always, chances are there. Even though you know how we are ready, it's an ultimate proof that nobody is having privacy in all the We are thinking that everything is happening. Yes. That ethical the issue is there, sir. So, yes. you cannot do it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Thank you, you ma'am. One more question from YouTube Live. What are the yes. apps used for safety and security while going out? It is the Google question app. from YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are the ultimately, apps used for safety? Uh, ultimately, no app is uh, ultimately safe. But Google apps, Microsoft licensed versions, always are safe, I think. If simply we are downloading something, I, we cannot say that uh, that much safe we are. The paid versions and the licensed versions are always safe. At least we can approach legally. That is there. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Participants, if there is any question, please ask, ma'am. Ma'am, when will provide feedback form? We have given in the chat box. Please, participants, we have given the feedback form in the chat box. Thank you so much. There is one question from YouTube. What is the difference between MOOC and SWAYAM? Yes, please. MOOC is the course. Massive open online course is MOOC. Soyam is the platform. The name of the platform means if Alagapa University 
is the name of the university and the teacher education uh, department is one of the department means and the group is one of the course like that ms rd is the uh, uh, ms soyam is the uni university like name means it is the institution is the online it is that is why we are calling it soyam platform platform is the mode in the, the online institution and where different disciplines are there agriculture technology and many 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 disciplines are there in that each discipline we have courses course is not a mooc that course is known as mooc that mooc course is having one name like our course is known as certificate course in environmental sustainability and then now it is going on from june uh, first onwards fifth launching it is so that is the difference between mooc course and soyam platform under the soyam platform course is part uh running thank you ma'am thank you so much for answering all the questions thank you for uh, spending your valuable time with us now i now i request dr porshia assistant professor at lipa university college of education to propose vote of thanks ma'am how much day for e certificate with the blessings of the almighty warm wishes to all I deem it a honor and privilege to propose the vote of thanks in this occasion. First and foremost, I express my sincere thanks, sincere thanks to Professor N. Ma'am, certificate कितने दिन में मिलेगा? Chancellor of University and Professor H. Guru Malesh Prabhu, Registrar of our University, for encouraging us and. granting permission for the smooth conduct of this webinar at this outset i express my sense of gratitude to dr sujatha malini principal in charge of arapa university college of education who spins the wheel in every academic activities for us thank you very much ma'am now it's my bounded duty to express our heartfelt thanks to our resource person dr Jalaja Kumari, Assistant Regional Director, IGNO Regional Center, Kochi, a dynamic personality and erudite scholar, for sharing her knowledge on online tools and spending her valuable time with us. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. The, the way you express the content you delivered Thank are you. really you, very informative and useful. on behalf of alahapa university college of education and on my own behalf i express my thanks from my depth of my heart thank you very much also my thanks goes to the teaching and non teaching fraternity of our college who shoulders the responsibilities in various means to conduct this webinar i thank each one of you last but not the least the participant friends without you this program may not be staged and reach this point on behalf behalf of alahapa university college of education i thank every one of you for your cooperation for the culmination of this program i also thank the organizing secretary dr j e Mer merlin sasikala for giving me this opportunity to propose this vote of thanks once again i thank one and all thank you thank you ma'am Now I request Dr. Sujatha Malini, Principal of the College of Education, to give concluding remarks. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for being with us, all the participants. And I request all the participants to fill the feedback. So based on that, I will be uh, generating the e-certificate. I also thank all the participants for being with us for this webinar, and we will. in the future thank you ma'am thank participants ma'am please uh, in future uh, ek webinar karaiye jisme paper presentation bhi ho yeah. ma'am hello हाँ मैम माई सेल अभिषेक कुमार पांडे मैं कह रहा हूँ कि एक फ्यूचर में मैम प्लीज एक वेबिनार करवाइए जिसमें पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन भी हो दिस पर्सन इज आस्किंग टू मी 
मैम मैं ये कह रहा हूँ कि फ्यूचर में एक वेबिन में पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन भी हो जिससे कि हम प्रतिभागियों को ज्यादा फायदा मिले सर्टिफिकेट का मैम प्लीज सेंड द फीडबैक लिंक प्लीज Yeah, I'll see. Because uh, I mean, I remember actually I 